Hello guys, Kethan again. Let's see some bits today. So the the problem that we are so, uh, solving today is chef and remissness, and the problem code is R E M I S S remiss, and this is a beginner level problem in the practice section of the code chef. And let's let's get into the problem statement. Chef is now a corporate person. He has to attend office regularly, but chef does not want to go to the office. Rather, he wants to stay home and discover different recipes and cook them. In the office, the chef works has two guards who count how many times a person enters into the office building. Though so the duty of a guard is twenty-four hour in a day, but sometimes they fall asleep during their duty and could not track the uh, entry of a person in the office building. But one better thing is that they never fall asleep at the same time. At least one of them remains awake and counts who enters the office. Okay, so. uh now boss of chef wants to calculate how many times chef has entered into the building he asked he asked to the guard and they gave him two integers a and b count of first guard and second guard respectively help the boss to count the minimum and maximum number of times chef could have entered into the office building okay so that is an interesting problem yeah so yeah sure that's an interesting problem that uh, but as we can see uh, the input and output it's very simple uh, yeah we got uh, let's see the input format we got test cases and a and b which are the counts of counts given by both the guards the first guard gave the count 19 and the second guard gave the count 17 right and we got the output uh, as minimum number of possible times the chef has entered and the maximum number of possible times the chef has entered right so as you can see the minimum will be the maximum of these two okay guys because let's say he uh let's say a guard sees the chef entering 10 times and the other guard sees sees only 9 times right so what's the minimum number of times that Uh, uh chef has entered it cannot be less than 10 right one guy one guard has definitely saw seen chef entering the building at least 10 times so it cannot be less than 10 the it could be the case that the second guard fell asleep when the first guard was counting right so the maximum of these two numbers is the minimum possible entries of chef right and the what's the maximum well here it gets tricky so let's see uh let's say whenever the first guard is counting the second guard is sleeping in that case the first guard counts 19 right and then uh, in the opposite case whenever the second guard is counting the first guard is sleeping and the second guard counts 17 right so the chef has actually entered 36 times but he was only counted 19 by one guard and 17 by another guard right so it it could happen that when one is counting the other is definitely not counting in that case what we have to do is uh, simply add both the both the counts which will be 19 plus 17 which, which will be 36 right in that case we'll just add the count and put it as the maximum again uh, understand this, that this is a range this is the minimum of the range and this is the maximum of the range the chef could have entered 26 times or 21 times or only 19 times or 36 times we don't know but this is the range right guys so we can cover the minimum and maximum using these uh, this logic and as i just explained it's very straight forward so i'll just write the code for it and you can see how it's done we got test cases and then for i in range of t so we got a and b right A comma B equals to map of int comma input dot split. If you guys don't understand this line, you can check out the first video. So the I have covered this line extensively in that video. Uh, it takes some time, so I I'd rather prefer you check that video out. Right. So so guys, uh, we can just print max of A comma B, 
let's give it as a tuple so that there won't be any problem with the max function because max function only takes one one parameter i think so we got the minimum which is the maximum of both of these and then what's the maximum range a plus b right so we are printing uh, minimum and maximum let's check it against the input there shouldn't be any problem we should get it right away unless i put a typo somewhere yeah so we got the output let's check if the logic i proposed is right or wrong right it's the correct answer because the logic underlying the uh, the underlying logic is correct yeah guys so if you have any doubts please uh, comment in the comments so that i can check them and i'll try to get get back to you as fast as i can and if you like the video hit the like button if you dislike the video hit the uh, dislike button and please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this content and i'll be putting some more content from uh, contests like tcs code beta or google code jam or something like that uh, and if you, you can also share the video with your friends so that they can also learn something new yeah thank you guys